This is the story behind my song, Bones. It all started on the piano. So this was about almost two years ago. This song has been a long time in the making and it's gone through quite a few changes. So what I did was I created a beat and I decided, okay, I'm gonna go to the studio. Today, we are on our way to the studio. Gonna record some music. Well, I've gotta do that quickly because Monaco might get under quarantine soon. I was supposed to be in the Netherlands at this point. Unfortunately, because of the virus, I couldn't make it. So I've decided to go all the way to Grasse, which is about one hour away from Monaco. There's a studio there. It's in the middle of the forest. I'm gonna call and tell them I've arrived. Um, yeah, the car's a bit of a mess. Uh, I do have a dog, so. Oh. This is a really rustic sort of studio and the vibes are really cool. So I'm really looking forward to making something a bit off center today. I'm a bit early, so let's take a quick uh, studio check. So we've got the vocal booth. All the vocals are gonna be recorded in here. And then you can see the live room in there. Here we are in the live room. By the way, make sure uh, you follow me on Spotify. I'm just waiting for the engineer to come back because he's got a cable at home. But uh, after that, we're gonna get started. The vibe is very important. So I brought this along with me. That's the end of the session for today. Uh, the track was actually pretty dope. I'm really happy with the result. After the recording is done, I get back home and uh, I just let it sit. You know, I don't want to jump into anything too quickly, so I just listen to the song a few times, I play it to some friends. Everyone really likes it, and I'm okay. I think something's there. I think I think this song has something. So I hit up my friend Yona. Hello. And we get onto you know a Zoom session because he obviously lives in uh, Finland. Right now, what you're seeing is us finishing up on the intro and the outro of the song. Yeah. The vocal doesn't come in straight away. Uh, in this version, it does. Yeah, I I don't like that. I think I think we need a little bit of a build up to it. Now, one of the reasonings to have a longer intro is to create a vibe. I want to create an atmosphere so that when you're listening to Bones, you're already in the mood. If the vocal comes in straight away, then you know you could be thrown off. So it would sound like this. We realized something is missing. So uh, I asked Yona to grab the guitar, just record a little loop. Yeah, so man, that, that's not bad actually. But the thing about production and songwriting is that we can work with motifs basically. So if you add something in the beginning, it'd be unwise to not have it repeat somewhere else. Now, after we figured out all the placements, all the sound design, everything, it's time to record final vocals because obviously the vibe has changed ever so slightly from the demo. So I re-record all the vocals uh, in my uh, studio vocal booth. Listen to this. You hear that? These are really good for insulating sound. Lockdown at this point, so I can't yet access the studio I went to. I've got to do it all at home. I stick these pillows up here. We have here the SM7B microphone. It's a great uh, vocal microphone. We're going into the Apollo from here, and then this goes directly into Studio One Pro 4. So we're gonna get a duvet, and we're gonna stick it up on top of here to get a nice isolated booth. Get out of it this way, and press record somehow. <laughs> but it works. We mix the song and that's the final product. And uh, go listen to the song Bones out now everywhere. So hopefully uh, see you in the next video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and also make sure you check out my previous vlogs. Take care and see you next week.